What's going on, nerds? Welcome back. My name is Sned. This is Journey to the Corner of the World. The rules are simple. I can only use different modes of transportation. I can only stay in one place until I get the next mode unlocked, and I can only stay in the nine chunks I'm staying in, mine and the eight surrounding. Anyways, guys, let's jump right into this, and please enjoy the episode. Welcome back, everybody. So, today, I think we're going to start pretty, pretty simply with just uh, maybe building up our base a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe trying to clear out some of this water. I, I really don't know what to do. So we do have a couple of spots over here that are in our territory that we could dig down in. Kind of. Uh, I don't know. We don't really have much to work with, unfortunately. But I think with a little bit of time and patience and hard work, we'll, uh, we'll be able to make this into a, a livable area. I'm just not exactly sure yet how we're going to do it. But just little by little, I suppose. I do also want to throw down some dirt if I could find it. So that way we could start with trees and gathering trees. It might also be a good idea to get some create stuff going a while. Uh, if I could, there we go. And then bucket. Solid. I'm thinking we add a couple more water wheels. Kind of flush this out a bit. Uh, this isn't going to be the final position, I don't think. But we'll we'll see what happens. So I just finished getting the uh, the water wheels set up. And I know that the uh, the bigger ones are slower. I was thinking that we could make them faster with the rotational gear shift, rotational speed controller, rotational something, rotational speed controller. Yeah. Um, we need one of these precision precision mechanisms, and they're they're easy enough to make. They're just kind of a pain. Uh, we'll probably do it to be honest. The brass casing is pretty easy. Brass is just copper and zinc. Oh, this has to be heated, though. Oh, no, I lied. That's not easy. Ugh. A mechanism combiner could do it. Oh, nope. Never mind. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'll get lucky with those. I think we're going to set up the tree farm kind of in this area. Uh, it's not going to be anything fancy. Ah, uh, no. Anyways, it's not going to be anything fancy. Just something small to get us going. I don't know exactly, oh my gosh, stop, exactly what we're going to do yet, or like what we're going to plant yet, but we'll figure that out. I'm also not sure exactly what kind of house to build just yet. I, honest to God, have no idea. I was thinking too, it might be nice to start kind of like digging down a bit, just to get some basic resources and have a, an access point to hopefully some kind of cave. And I chose here in the corner just because uh, we we know the only direction we could go is that way, you know, southeast. Good news, there's some dripstone under us. We already picked some up though, so I don't know as if that'll come too much in handy. But we have it here if we want it. Hey, we actually found a cave. Oh, that's out of bounds. Hey, we actually found... Oh my gosh, this whole cave is out of bounds. We can't even, like, do anything this way. Oh, hey, we got quartz. This uh, this was added with Malum. You can now find quartz in the uh, in the overworld. And to my knowledge, it acts the same as like nether quartz. You could do the same stuff with it. Yeah, it's out of bounds. Son of a gun. Looks like we found another one. Let's hope we have more luck this time. Not really, actually. We can't go this way. Ouchies. Oh. Whoa. What was that? Hold on, let me get back to safety. What was that? Oh. Oh, snap. Okay, this is the Malum book. Oh, whoa, that looks trippy. Oh my gosh, can I zoom in and out? No, of course not. Well, shoot. I guess now we could probably start looking into this, right? Oh, that text is kind of hard on the eyes, though. Seems like yet another dead end. We might have to find a new digging spot. There's a... There's a bunch of caves that way, but that doesn't really help us. 
And that's bedrock. Phenomenal. So that doesn't leave us with too many options, does it? Okay, I think I'm going to go back to setting up create. We'll get a tree farm go uh, going. We'll get our, uh, our smelting thing, our encased fan. Ha. We'll get that going. And we'll, uh, we'll figure out what to do from, from there. Okay, we got sort of an unsafe mechanical fan, or encased fan, rather, set up going. Uh, I mean, it works, I suppose. Hey, sweet, an entire stack of copper in just a couple of seconds. Awesome, awesome. Guys, I have... I have to show you something like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I built, I built another portal and I will show you where it takes us here in a second. But first let's try to get some enchants on our stuff. Uh, I was hopeful that maybe we could, uh, maybe we could pick up like unbreaking or something. Bane of arthropods. I don't really want that. Uh, unbreaking three. That might not be bad. Uh, unbreaking inefficiency, that is kind of bad. Fortune or Silk Touch would be, like, super freaking nice. Uh, let's see what happens when we throw a book in there. Okay, the book will give us Psychic Wall 3, which is not great. So I'm thinking let's try the pickaxe once more and just hope, right? Unbreaking 3, come on, please, 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 please. Silk Touch! We got Silk Touch! Yes, I'll take it. It doesn't have efficiency. But I will take it. Oh, that is so good. Oh boy. Okay. Let's uh let's go to the nether. So you'll notice maybe that I had blaze burners in my in my uh inventory. And the reason for that is because we need a blaze burner. Nope. Oh, come on. We need a blaze burner. What the you guys saw that, right? Blaze burner to make brass, and brass will give us the ability to. I can't even think straight. There we go. Brass will give us the ability to uh, speed up our production of things. And check it out. Look where we spawned. Like, what are the chances of this? Now, granted, we don't have too much to work with here. Uh, we have just this corner. But I'm hoping that I'm hoping that we could find what we need. We just need a blaze to spawn, and we should be able to find that. Oh, I just saw one. They're out of range, though. I need them to come over here. Come on, guys. Now she's. They're so close. Like they're just right there. But also, it's really nice that we spawned in this warped forest, because we have Endermen here. And the Endermen are going to be super useful for, you guessed it, Ender Pearls. And first Ender Pearl, please. Please. Nice, we got our first Ender Pearl. The Ender Pearls are going to come in handy, obviously, for going to the end, which I think we're actually going to do soon. I'm thinking that the next method is going to be like the next, um, what do you call it? The next, uh, travel method is going to be going, oh, you jerk, uh, going via Elytra. Come on guys, just come over here, please. One nice thing about having silk touch now, other than the fact that you know, we'll be able to pick up, like, that bee's nest, for example, is we'll be able to start duplicating our, our ores once we throw them into grindstones. So that's gonna come in handy for sure. No, oh, thank you, Satan. Oh, if you look at the mini-map, it looks like there might be an underground part of the fortress in our zone here. Not much, but a very, very little bit. Let's, uh, dig over. Okay, well, there's nothing that way. And I can't really go that way. Wait, there's a blaze over there, though. Can I reach him? 
Yes, we got him. We got him. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Also, I think I might take these bone blocks. No, I won't. They're out of range. Shoot. We have like... I can't believe we only have a corner of... Of this fortress. Like, how upsetting. Also, we should keep trying for Endermen. Or rather, Ender Pearls. If I could just get him to teleport up here, that would be super helpful. So yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, going for the Elytra next? If we do, we're going to need some kind of firework farm. Firework. I could spell work. Uh, which means we're going to need a lot of gunpowder. The paper, we could just plant sugarcane. That's no problem. I think we have some sugarcane. I'll get that planted when I get back. The gunpowder is going to be tricky. No, thank you. Get out of here. Thanks, sir. Yay, a blood sack. Oh, there's another blaze. Got him. Okay, we got two blaze burners filled with, you know, blaze. It might be good to try and find some ancient Debras while we're here. Uh, I don't know if we will, but maybe. Oh, you know what? We need blackstone too. I forgot about this. This will upgrade our tetra hammer. Oh, we found some. Heck yeah, man. We're right on the edge of our of our border as well. Check it out. Like this is the wilderness. Oh man. Talk about cutting it close. But uh yeah, we found some. Ancient Debras. Okay, we got a nice little rectangle cut out here. Uh, I don't think we're quite one chunk over from where we found the previous, uh, the previous... Oh, maybe we are. We found it right in here, in this chunk. So, maybe there's some here. But this is as far as we could go. I don't know. There, There's a science to it, but I don't really care about science. I mean, I do, but not in this sense. Plus, there's a bunch of other stuff down here that we wouldn't mind having, like nether quartz, and if we could find more of that malum ore stuff, whose name is currently eluding me, uh, it'll come to me. Oh, the blazing quartz. Is that what it is? Blazing quartz? Uh, gold? No. Blazing quartz. Yeah, that stuff. Whatever. The point is, um, the point is, there's other stuff down here that we would want, not just the, uh, the ancient Debra. Okay, let's get out of the nether for now. I think maybe we should try and go get more diamonds. Uh, the, the diamonds are going to be useful uh, for armor. We, we could definitely use an armor upgrade. Nice, we got a blaze rod. Um, yeah, armor. We need better armor. We're still rocking, well, compressed steel. But let's, uh, let's get out of here and make some diamond, maybe. Another thing that I just thought about, we definitely need more diamonds if we want to start breaking into ME2. Obviously, the ME drive is going to be better. We have the chest, but it only has one storage slot, like storage cell. I'm also thinking that we're going to need some crushing wheels pretty dang soon. So maybe that's our current goal, is crushing wheels. Because then once we come back from mining, we could throw everything into the crusher. Okay, what do we need for this bad boy? A bunch of andesite alloy. <sighs> okay, uh, some planks, some compressed stone, andesite diorite, granite. Oh, that'll be easy. But we need 21 of these mechanical crafters. Which means we need brass casing, son of a gun. And brass casing means we need brass, which means we need a mixer. Okay, let's make a mixer. There we go, the mechanical mixer. Uh, where are we putting it? Maybe on this side? Over here? Just so we keep things not so, uh, compressed. And then our blaze burner friend goes down there, and that goes right there? No, that's not right, that won't reach. Our blaze burner friend goes right there, and that goes right there. Yeah, that's correct. So then we should be able to take zinc and copper, toss it in there, and then, uh, we need to heat the blaze guy. Let's just try some coal.
That's not working. Why is that not working? It's not rotating with enough speed. Son of a gun. Okay. Alright. Idea. Let's try the other... The other water wheel. Uh, the smaller one moves faster, but has less stress. Like, less SU. So maybe we could get something going with that. Hmm. It still says that it's not spinning fast enough. Alright, I think I got it. Because of the changes to create in the, the most recent update, I'm not I'm not as familiar or comfortable with it just yet. Uh, this looks disgusting, and I am so, so very, very sorry. But I think we're good now. So if we just give this dude some coal... Hey, there we go. We should get some brass. Yes. Uh, combine ingredients in a mechanical mixer. Heckin' heck yeah, dude. Okay, um, it's not pretty. It's probably gonna stay like this. Uh, I don't know what to do with that yet. We'll figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, there we go. We got, we got some brass. And brass casing. Heck yeah, man. Oh, also, uh, I enchanted my diamond axe. It now has efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3, which is pretty freaking sweet. And it's a Tetra tool, so it's, like, never gonna break anyways. You know, that's cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any spare sugarcane for the sandpaper to make the, uh, electron tubes. So we're gonna have to wait for that to grow. I probably should have planted that a heck of a lot sooner. That's my bad. Whatever. I, uh, I got too lazy to wait for... Oh, that's glitchy. I got too lazy to wait for the sugar cane, so I used the, uh, cutting board to strip down some logs. But, yeah, here we go. Uh, wow. Okay, so that only has eight uses. Anyways, one of them is gonna become... Actually, I guess they're all gonna be electron tubes. So now I need eight iron? Sweet, okay. We got... Our electron tubes and then boom 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 21 mechanical crafters heck yeah okay so I got it but it's not it's not spinning because it's too stressed so maybe I need to connect it to this guy uh, okay let's try that oh there we go I think it's connected Oh, it is! It's connected! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. Let's, uh, craft up these crushing wheels, because, oh my gosh, I am about sick of them. Alright, this should be all of the andesite we need. I just gotta put it all into here. And... It's working! Oh my goodness, we have crushing wheels, or we will in a couple moments. What, it should all come out? No! Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, that's what I get for messing it up. Now it should all work. It should come out right here. I really need to make a wrench. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. It's, uh, it's on the to-do list, though. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Oh yeah, we have crushing wheels. Okay, honestly, as much as I don't want to, I think I'm just going to tear the crafters down. We only needed them for the crushing wheels, and I don't see us using them for anything else. At least not yet, you know? Alrighty, I think we should be good. All we have to do is flick this lever on the gear shift, and... Hey, hey, there we go. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, let's, uh, let's test it out. Eventually, I'll come up with a better method to crush things and then, like, wheel them out of here. But for now, this'll, this'll work. Sweet. And there we go. Ooh, 45 nuggets of experience. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's go looking for diamonds. Now, the biggest thing we want is, you know, a full set of armors worth of diamonds. But, uh, we'll, we'll take what we could get, I suppose. 
I just realized we don't have any seaweed growing in here, which I suppose makes sense because it's a river, not a, uh, not like an ocean. But that means we can't make any conveyor belts, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, because that's going to make that process a whole lot more challenging. So, I kind of dug quite a bit, as you could see. Um... I strip mined this whole area. Uh, this little box that I'm currently in is just clearing out space for me. But I strip mined this whole thing at uh, Y negative 55, and there's like there's like nothing down here. But if we go back to the surface, let me let me show you what all we got from that, because it wasn't it wasn't too much. Do 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 do. do. This is it. This is everything we got, obviously minus the personal chests. We only got nine diamonds out of doing all that. 16 geodes, like... What? <laughs> There's nothing down there. There's no caves or anything. I dug all the way to bedrock. I don't... I don't know what else to do. I guess just like go down or up and keep digging. But like, holy crap. For now though, let's take the stuff that we do have and grind it up in the uh, crushing wheels, we'll, uh, we'll fix, or not fix, we'll uh, get what we can out of everything. It should at least still be, um, I think, 18 diamonds at the very least. The diamond ore, the deep slate diamond specifically, gives us two with a 25% chance of a third. So we should still have a decent percent chance at a third, so... I don't know. It, it'll it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We have 28 diamonds now. What is a full suit? 24? Yeah, let's make a full suit. And then we could start enchanting it, I guess. Chances are we won't end up using an entire full suit, like, all the time. Just because, like, the jetpack is going to come in handy. Actually, oh shoot, should we have made the armored... Armored... Jetpack? Yeah, shoot. I think... I think we upgrade to the... The armored jetpack. Hmm. We'll still need the diamond chest plate when we upgrade to netherite anyways. So I guess that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, okay. New game plan. We are going to get up to the armored jetpack and then we're going to call it an episode. I feel like I've been pretty scatterbrained on this one so far. And there's a lot to do, slash a lot we haven't done yet. So that's, uh... That's what we're gonna do, I think. Unbreaking 3, Protection 3? That's not great, but it's better than what we currently have. I guess we'll take it. You know, it was actually pretty, uh, pretty simple. I didn't expect to be done this quick. But I think, uh, I think we're just about done now. All we have to do is wait for the, uh, the ingots to smelt. Yep, there's two bronze ingots, and that'll be nine steel ingots, which will make a steel block, which will allow us to make an armored jetpack. There, that goes there, then like that, then like that, and then like that. Oh my gosh, I remembered it! Oh boy, we have an armored jetpack. Heck yeah. Can you enchant jetpacks? I don't actually know. Apparently not. Cool. So, yeah guys, we're making some progress. We have uh, an armored jetpack now, we have enchanted diamond legs. We have the other diamond armor pieces, but we'll we'll get to those later. And we've made some decent progress into create. We have a uh, crushing wheel set up, kind of. I'll figure out a better way to do it. But Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode.